So today is the 3rd of the 4th, 2017 and I have my top surgery today. I have been waiting for this for like quite a while. Um, as you can see, I'm in the fancy gown. <laughs> um, and how I'm feeling? I'm feeling nervous. I've already had my first cry today <laughs> at like half six in the morning. Um, I feel sick. I'm not eating since like half eight, nine o'clock yesterday. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to like, it's finally like the next chapter of my life um, and everything. Um, and yeah, like, it's just the best start. Like, I'm so glad to have my boyfriend. So today's the day and we're waiting in the hospital for this one's top surgery. Just got to wait now and hopefully it won't be long. And then we'll post more when he's come out. <coughs> so it's still the 3rd of the 4th, 2017 and it's half eight. Um, the guys put the numbing cream on my hand. Um, and about 10 minutes ago, Dr. Ellen came in and told us that the guy that puts you to sleep has injured himself. Surprise. Um, and unfortunately, he's unable to come in. So, Dr. Ellen has nicely rang around the other one to see if they're free to come in because he has four people in today for the same surgery. But he also said that he's got free time tomorrow, like in the afternoon. So I'm hoping I'll get it done today, otherwise it has to be the afternoon, which is going to suck. Um, but we'll keep you updated during the day. And okay, hey, so today is the 3rd of the 4th, 17, um, which was meant to be my surgery date. It is gone half nine, and you can probably tell I'm not at the hospital. Mm. The reasons for this is um, we got there, got ground up and everything, and the doctor comes in and says, unfortunately the guy that's meant to put you to sleep has injured himself, so therefore he won't be in. Um, we've tried to ring round other one, other doctors to come in, um, and they still were. And then um, he came back, he said that he'll come back, and then I slept for like, an hour and, and a half. half yes. Just cause I, I was like sat just waiting and he fell me. asleep on me, bless you. Yeah, just because like I was just getting so stressed mm. and everything just couldn't handle it. And then I woke up and then the doctor comes back in and just goes, unfortunately you've got to cancel all appointments today due to not finding someone to come in. Um and everything and that he'll try to give me a date for uh, Tuesday the 3rd, hello, uh, no, Tuesday the 4th. the 4th, or Thursday the 6th of April 2017. Um, so we rang about just after 4, mm -hmm. half 4, um, to, and just said, like, obviously I was a patient, I was going to have my surgery today, um, has there been any, like, update on when it could be? And they said Thursday, but they haven't come back with a time or anything so they said that they'll give me a call um and they never and now they're closed so hopefully they give me a call tomorrow but you were quite lucky they said because they only had two appointments some of the others that were meant to have their surgery today too that were there you've spoke to and they've been told next week yeah um yeah, they're just like we was one of the lucky ones to actually get in um, but it also comes down to like circumstances of like mm. where people are travelling from and everything and I'm just hoping it is Thursday because I just don't know what I'll do otherwise no um, yeah, no you were obviously quite upset afterwards which is completely understandable yeah. but we had a good day and your friend obviously came down Lucas and they spent the time at the pier and yeah Lucas came down we had lunch with him um, and literally, if it wasn't for Shane and Lucas, like, <laughs> I'd probably be like a nervous wreck still. But I'm glad I've got the support to help me through. I'll always be there, you know that. Yeah. So, yeah. so we'll keep you updated and see what we get called tomorrow. And if, well, when you have surgery on Thursday. Yeah, so.
See you later, guys.